Hey everybody, Air Maddox here. Just sitting outside on this lovely morning, having a pipe. I hope everybody else is doing really well today. Getting started off to a great morning or off to bed if you're Derek Tant. Just uh, got off the internet with uh, Derek. He had his live stream, got done his work. He's having a cigar. Hey Derek, if you're watching. Hope you had a good sleep. So yeah, thought I'd get outside and all this talk about pipe tobacco made me want to go out and have a pipe. So I'm smoking some Viprati. In my Missouri Meerschaum Calabash. Wasp, I think it's called. So yeah, no review today. Just me and you guys. So the title of my video today is You Are What You Meme. Yesterday I just... I didn't delete, but I uh, I closed down. What do you call it? I basically closed down my Facebook account. Have a cup of mud, as Ghost Cobb would say. Um, yeah. So I closed my Facebook or temporarily disabled it. It's getting kind of annoying. Well, especially this time of year. In the winter, up here in Canada, there's not much going on, so... It's a lot of complaining, and... Not really complaining, it's just nothing interesting going on, and then... It just seems like it's a waste of time to be on there. And I don't have anything to offer right now, since... All I have is my motorbike, so I can't really go too far or do... Too many exciting things right now, so... I thought I'd just stop wasting my time, and... Close it down. Too busy with my YouTube channel now. Anyway, I want to do a little more with it. Be nice once the nice weather comes and I can get on my motorbike. I'd like to do some a lot more trips this year. Go check out some tobacco, uh, some brick and mortars. There is some in, like more in the Toronto area, in the big city, where they have. There's one I can't remember the name of it, but it's you can get yourself a, an old-fashioned shave and haircut and have a pipe or a cigar. I'd like to check that place out and a couple other ones that look pretty good maybe I can find some rare tobaccos or something but yeah back to the Facebook thing you know kind of I, I find it funny that my title of this is you are what you meme and it seems like especially with this positive only you know kind of movement that everybody seems to be into seems like there's a meme for anything. It's like, oh, you have bad kids? Well, all you have to do is find a meme that says, you know, bad kids grow up to be the smartest people. And if that gives you some consolation, you know, if you're a negligent parent or just happen to have annoying kids, even the best parents can have difficult kids. Or if you have, you know, the ladies or the men that are complaining, you know, put these memes up. It's, you know, say if it's a woman, you know, it's a, a real man, you know, puts up with, you know, a woman that's crazy. And I'm thinking, you know, if a guy were to put a meme on there that says, you know, a real woman is, you know, a woman that puts up with a guy that treats her, you know, like dirt, you'd get a lot of, a lot of kickback on that. That kind of stuff starts to get on my nerves after a while. One of the last posts that I posted on my main page was, what did I say again? Something about 
I always come up with these little clever, clever sayings to get people thinking, hopefully get people thinking of what they're actually posting. It was, uh, you can be anything you want to be. All you have to do is find a meme that says so. That's what it was. I thought that was pretty clever, but... I didn't get too many responses on that. Just a few likes. It's another lady on Facebook. Real nice lady. She's into selling a lot of... Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's these... It's like health, health foods. You know, those powders like greens where you put the greens in, you know, make a shake out of it and stuff. And I was thinking of trying some of that stuff. And then I did a little research, and it, there's so much of it for sale, and, and I was thinking, how do you, how can they make so much of this, this stuff that's so good for you, and it comes in a little packet, and it's supposed to contain all these vitamins and minerals and make you feel good, and I'm thinking, how can a little tiny packet of powder contain all this stuff? And you don't know where it's coming from, you know. They, they, the people that push the stuff seem to have all these facts and, and I'm thinking, have you ever actually been to these factories and see where this stuff comes from? It's like, you're just taking this company's word for it that their product is this fantastic all natural stuff. So I was thinking, you know what? I'm not going to put this stuff in my body when I don't even I don't even know where it's coming from. Or, say it has a whole bunch of these little all-natural all products. Poison Ivy's all-natural, but you don't see me eating it. But anyway. Yeah, what happens if you take, you know, there's 20 all-natural ingredients in, the, in this powder, and then it just happens to be one of them in there that you might be allergic to and not know it, or have an adverse reaction to. You could be taking this stuff over time, and who knows what it's doing to you on the inside. And... Uh, I have a theory, and it's just anecdotal, just from what I've seen. Give me one second, I'll have a sip of my coffee before it gets cold. Home roasted Colombian coffee out of the popcorn popper. Right there, popcorn popped coffee. Derek Camp, the mayor of the YouTube community, YouTube pipe community. Who'd want to be the mayor of the whole YouTube community? Not me. Anyway, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Oh, yes. One second, let me check my battery. We're doing fine. Okay, so, yeah, my theory is, is uh, and my mom thinks this too, is a lot of uh, people that are into just all natural, you know, they have to eat, you know, mostly vegetables. Well, not mostly vegetables, but people that just eat stuff that's not, you know, just straight from your garden or meats and just typical food, but people that eat, you know, that go overboard, they seem to be healthy generally, but they're the ones that seem to come down with a lot of, you know, these stomach problems later on in life and cancers and and uh, it's funny it just so happens that this one lady on Facebook that was you know um, promoting these health food um, products just hap um, just posted the other day that she was in the hospital and in pain something was wrong with her kidneys so and they don't know what it is so I just go I'm thinking that she's just been taking all these supplements and powders and you don't know what's in them you don't know what it does to your body so, anywho, I think I'm running out of time, so I hope you guys have a great day. I gotta get some rest today because I'm working two 12 hours Saturday and Sunday, so I'm gonna be tired this weekend. So, just gonna enjoy the rest of my day, maybe get some honey garlic wings and watch some May Gray on, uh, that's a... Uh, detective show for you people who don't know with Mr. Bean in it. It's all serious though, it's not funny. It's good it's good it's good TV series if you ever get a chance to watch it. May Gray. Check it out. <laughs>